hello welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be discussing how i moved from being a front desk officer to be senior customer success manager at a us based company so it's to share my journey with you things i did differently and what got me to where i am currently stay connected and i'll see you soon welcome back i started my career in a, an agri-tech company in nigeria as a front desk officer i was doing the major front desk role um welcoming visitors to the company ensuring that all admin staffs perform their roles making sure that the meeting place are well cleaned and available for people that want to have meetings plus general admin roles as well it wasn't long like a couple of weeks into the role that I was connected. I joined the customer service team. I was still at the front desk, but I was linked up with the customer service team to help them pick calls, inbound and outbound calls, um, respond to emails, live chats, and escalate customer issues. At this time, it was really interesting for me because I just graduated from university and I was looking for a challenging role. It was really challenging, of course, and it was excited at first when I started. But a couple of months down the line, less like two months, I discovered that I could do more. Like, I don't think I want this routine to be my daily activities. I mean, it's fantastic, but I feel like there could be something more I should add to help me grow in this career. And I walked up to one of my colleagues then. I asked him, like, do you think that people have career path in this in those roles, like, could I actually become a manager someday or thing, things like that? Then he said, oh, yeah, you can actually become a senior customer service manager or even a general manager um, managing agents, customer service agents. It was cool when he said that, but I thought like, OK, what about if I could do something more than just becoming a customer service manager? Like, I just wanted something more then i felt like okay thank you so much for that and i started digging more and i discovered that there's a lot of things i could achieve even at the time being a customer service agent and the first thing i needed to improve i i started thinking okay what can i improve to make myself better i started taking coursera courses on coursera sorry and the first course i took i remember was writing email better ways to write emails and this course taught me the keywords that I can put in emails, how I can communicate better to my audience in English. And it was really fantastic because I was able to bring this course, things I learned in this course to my role then. It improved my email communication. Then I also took another course in customer service management, which was also fantastic. At the time, my team manager was open. So most of the things I learned, I tried to let her understand okay these are the things i learned and she was like okay you can bring this into the team if it's something that it's exciting we can all embrace it it was really good i kept growing i kept learning a lot of stuff you know the excitement at all and all that was there but then i got to another fixed point where i just wanted more like i was curious Curiosity would not let me rest because I feel like, okay, now I've learned how to write good emails. Now I've learned how to pick calls wonderfully. Now I've learned how to escalate customer issues. Are there other things I could do to make myself better? Like, I can't just keep doing this role over and over again. And I know that a lot of you can relate to what I'm saying. Yeah, you love your job, but you feel like there is a lot of things that you can do to be better at it. So then... I started digging more. That was where my curiosity came in. I went on Google. I started searching Google. Like, I remember I was putting different keywords, customer service, customer support. How can I improve myself? So I was doing all those things and I stumbled on customer success. So this is where my journey to becoming a customer, a senior customer success started. I stumbled on customer success and I was like, is this even a thing like customer success? Okay, let's see how it goes. Then I clicked on the link on from Google. It took me to LinkedIn and I discovered that, wow, this term that I'm just getting to know about 
is already pronounced in other countries. We have people that are customer success managers already, customer success associates, customer success agents, like customer success, everything. And people are so proud of it. And I'm like, really, why don't we have it in this part of the world? There's a lot of things for me to learn. So, and something happened in the company at the time. It was um, a, a new company was being battered. So I was moved to the new company. It's a fintech company then. So I was part of the first people that started the company as a customer service. And my role was to make sure that we keep having repeating customers. So it was fun because now I am learning things about customer success. Theoretically, I have the opportunity to bring it to life in my new role. As I was still a customer service agent, but it was more defined like client service executive, but it was still customer service. But everything I was learning then, I was able to bring it to life. I had a good boss as well. So sometimes I talk to my boss, okay, can we do this? Is this, I think that this is going to be useful for us in the team. I think that we should try it this way. And then she was like, okay, yeah, if it's okay, fine, we can do it. If not, then let's try something else. She wasn't open to all my ideas, which is normal as a, as a leader, because you can't be open to all the ideas of your subordinates sometimes because I didn't have major experience in that line as well. But it was all trial and error. And later on, it was all going well, all going good. But then curiosity kicked in again. I was seeing a lot of things fly on LinkedIn. You know, it's a lot of information. I was trying to process these thoughts at the same time. Like it was too much for me. But I needed to narrow it down. What are the good are the things, big takeaway for me? What are the things I need to do? Because I was just seeing the information. I didn't know what to do to become a major person in this role. So I went again. I took, I started taking another course, but this time not on Coursera. I started taking more advanced, advanced courses in customer success. I wanted to know what are the concepts. So when you talk about customer success, are there concepts in customer success? Is it different from the current role that I'm doing? And that is going to take us to our, another video that I'm going to record later where we discuss the difference between customer success, customer service, customer support, and every other rules that are related that you know. So I, I felt like, okay, is this different from my current role? If yes, can I scale up from my current role as a client service executive, remember, to becoming, even if it is a customer success agent, then I took the courses. I learned about the key concept of customer success. What I needed to do, what my roles and responsibilities are, what my expectations are. So at this time, it was, it was new, but it was good. I was excited. And another thing I know I did, majorly important one, was to connect with customer success managers on LinkedIn. So what I did was I went on LinkedIn, you know, the search bar on LinkedIn. I started searching customer success managers in Nigeria, but I did have a lot of results because, and it was normal because it wasn't very well pronounced in Nigeria at the time. Then I started searching customer success managers in Africa. I saw a few results, some in South Africa, some in Kenya, but not very. Then I went for the customer success managers generally. Then I got a lot of results and I started connecting with them. And that wasn't it all. For every post they make, I try to see who likes the post, who commented on the post. I click on those people's profile, then I connect with them as well. This is a tip for you if you're still looking for ways to improve or connect with people in this space. These were the things I did. <laughs> It was, it was so interesting because I was learning the theory, but I never had opportunity to practicalize or to bring the things that I've learned to life. At this time, trust me, if you ask me everything about customer success, I could bring it down for you in theory. But I was yearning to know what it looks like on the role, what people feel on the role, how they do their roles. 
because everything I've learned so far was on LinkedIn, online, resources online, Google, courses I've taken. And COVID happened. It was from COVID that I discovered that I could actually get a role in customer success, a remote role in a global company. And I was like, this is so fantastic, like, awesome. Like, you mean I don't have to go through the Lagos traffic stress? I can sit at the comfort of my house and type my laptop and be responding to chats, be discussing with customers, make them feel okay and get more revenue for the company. You mean like I can do all this from the comfort of my house? So it was interesting for me, honestly. Then I started, okay, let's dust my CV again. We are back to the market. I started searching. Now the problem for me was, how do I get these roles? Am I even um, competitive enough for the people that are already in this space? Do I have the knowledge they have? I mean, what I know all my life has been customer service, customer support. Now, this is a new space. Can I compete with people that are already existing in this space? I know that this should be relatable to a lot of you watching this. You're sometimes thinking like, can I compete? Like, do I have the skill sets? Especially these guys are from developed companies and uh, countries and you are just coming into the space. That was one of my major challenges as well. But it wasn't something I, I, I achieved in a day. It was a journey, honestly. And just stay with me as I take you through this journey. So um, at the time, the first thing I did was I had to revamp my CV. I mean, if I want to compete globally, my CV should be able to stand up to global, to, to meet global standard. I mean, there's going to be a different video where I will share tips, the things I did differently. Just make sure that you're subscribed to this channel to get notification when the video is up. And after that, I tried to develop my cover letter because I discovered that every time I put in applications, I get rejection like two or three days later. Like, is there something I'm not doing right? It took me like up to eight months before I could get my first interview for a customer success rule, like that look. It means that if you've been trying, maybe you've been doing it for a couple of months and you're not getting the results you desire, it's a journey. So don't give up, keep doing it. One day you will eat your milestone and you will get that interview request that you've always desired. So back to the story. I got my first interview request. It was good. I thought I did well, but there were some things I needed to say to my interviewer to convince them that I, yes, I'm the right individual for this role because he was interviewing more than 200 people as well. It was, it was a long ride for me and I felt I started reviewing like what could I have said better don't worry I'm going to discuss everything I did like the major things that I did to get to this role in another video this is just to walk you through my journey so I started reviewing my interviews myself like what could I have said better is there something I shouldn't have said okay how would these people in other countries approach this interview then at the time i would also ask my partner do you think i could have said this and he would say oh yeah i think you did it well but maybe you could have improved in this aspect then I, I kept going it was until a year later that i started applying that i got my first role with a u.s based company as well not my current role the role then was for enterprise customer success associates in a u.s based company it was fantastic for me because yes, now I have everything it takes to learn on the job. I joined the role. My boss was awesome, like awesome. It took time to take me through what was expected of on the role, how I could do it. And then I had colleagues I could learn from. It was from this role that I discovered that the way we write emails in Nigeria is different from the way you write emails globally. So if I want to communicate with you in Nigeria or in Africa, there's a way we connect. 
but global connection is a different thing entirely and i had to learn all this thing all over again it's a whole lot of things but i learned it to become better on the job i needed to get on video calls to discuss with customer and now it's very different from customer service because it was not reactive don't worry there's going to be another video that will discuss how customer success is different from customer support and customer service so it is now a more proactive role where i have to be sure what my customers are doing at every point in time renewal was the goal for me i needed to get them back to the company to renew to keep renewing like a recurring customer a returning customer sorry so it means that my video my kind of communication on video has to be excellent because there is a level of connection you needed to be with your customers for them to trust you you are their advisor you are their advocate they, they need to connect with you and if you can't get them to connect with you then they cannot connect to your product and they cannot connect to your company so that was my first challenge how do i get this i need i need to also mention that i'm an introvert like it's really hard for me to keep communication flowing like i just struggle with it sometimes but i needed to be an extrovert to connect to start communication to make sure that communications end on a good note and another thing i needed to learn was the technical skills customer service i know you you need to understand the product but in customer success how can this product really work how does it work what can your customer do to enjoy the benefit of the product are there other type of features that you can ask them to buy that is where the cross-selling part of customer success comes in and the sales part of it so i need you know for somebody that doesn't like talking before and i i am in this role now i love the role but it's really challenging i have to grow myself I, so i don't take too much of your time on this video one significant thing that i did was i was open to learning if you're in customer success every day is a new challenge for you you need to be open to learning you need to be accommodating you don't have to think like oh this lady met me here or this guy met me have been here before him or her came but if she knows what you don't know why don't you walk up to the person and learn that was what i did with my colleagues I walk up to them if I am having challenges, especially with the technical aspects. I would walk up to them. Hey, do you mind putting me through this? And I'm like, yeah, this is how it works. This is this, this is this. And one significant thing I'm going to share in another video, a lot of things I also did. I started watching how people interact with each other. YouTube videos are great. Now I am sharing this experience. I didn't have a lot of people to watch on YouTube at the time because I was growing solo. But I was watching my colleagues. How do my colleagues have interaction with their customers? I started asking them, do you mind if I join your calls? Like, I will just shadow. I'm not going to turn on my camera. I just wanted to see how you talk to your customers or how you relate with them. It's really helped me a lot. So they allowed me. And I will see how they interact with their customers. I will also point out the mistakes they made. Sometimes I don't share with them. I just discover, okay, this, are the, this thing could have been better. Then I will note it for myself. And I will write out plans for each of the meetings it worked excellently for me and then major challenges now came how do i talk my customer into renewing their subscription with the company when it's time like i don't have an idea i've not done this before what i know i've done before is when it's time to renew when you did not renew we'll call you why don't you renew is there something we could have done differently but right now you have to have a conversation with them even before their renewal dates how do I do that? I've not done this before. So that was another major challenge. And you needed to work with another team. Customer service from Nigeria, my experience was that we worked solo. Like, okay, these are the list of people you have to call today. Go through the list and then start picking your phones and calling them. This time, I needed to connect with people from other departments. We're talking about the account managing department, account manager, uh, account management, sorry, departments. You can also call them account managers. Then I, I needed to work with the sales manager, the sales team. How do I have conversation with these people? Like 
these guys are professionals in their field like how do i connect with them to understand the customer journey what has been their challenges over time and how can i make that better so that i can push renewal to them and we can have a very good conversation with renewals so that was another good it was a good challenge because every challenge on this part made me grow and that is what contributed to who i am i was able to learn all those things and later when it was time for me to move i relocated to a new country and i discovered that okay fine i have learned a lot about enterprise but i think now is the time for me to move to a new company to see how things are being done from a different perspective i started applying again i'm going to give you tips on how i was able to get all these rules and funny enough all my rules have been from linkedin you won't believe that right i've got all my job offers from linkedin i will share the tips with you as well later so i started searching again and i got a new role which is called senior customer success manager it's also a US based company. Isn't that awesome? Like very awesome. You mean a girl from Nigeria can also become a senior customer success manager in a US based company and be talking to all those big, big companies and have really intelligent conversations with them and work with fantastic team. Yeah, I got into the role and it was a whole lot of different experience. So in this new role, it was more of account management, researching, researching what my customers are doing, advocating for them internally, liaising with the product team to say, hey, this customer wants this. Is there a way we can get on a call with them to understand their use case? And how can, is this something maybe we can put in our roadmap in the future? I understand that we cannot do it now, but can we do this in the future? Put it in the roadmap. So I needed to be an advocate. I also needed to be someone that gives them feedback, prompt feedback, and who they can confide in. Like Grace, I, I really need to tell you the truth. I've been using your product. Your product is fantastic and it's really wholesome. But I think that you could improve these product features this way and this way. So I needed to connect with them and listen from each of my journey. I kept learning different things. And this is to tell you that customer success will give you new challenge at every point in time. You will have new challenges to solve. You will have anxiety on the road as well. I'm not going to paint this as a rosy or a journey full of flowers. You will have anxieties, but you would overcome your anxiety. You would need help and you will need to cry for help. Also, you would need to move to develop, to adapt to change because there are going to be changes on your way. And then it boils down to how curious are you to learn? That's number one. How thirsty are you for growth? That's number two. How humble are you to connect to people that are ready or that knows more than you do? That's number three. Then how good are you being a team player? That's number four. You have to be a very good team player. And then number five, how can you connect to people? Because this connection it doesn't have to do with your customer alone. You need to connect both with your customers, the outside customers and the internal customer. External and internal customers. Internal customers are the de department that you collaborate with. How can you connect with them to make sure that you get the information you want or you need in time? And lastly, how can you calm yourself to believe that whatever it is you're facing is just a face it will pass because sometimes if you don't get to a level an emotional stage in customer success to help you believe that this is just a face it will pass 
I'm going, I'm making progress. There are positive impact I am making. I am making a change. Little by little, my drop of water will eventually become a mighty ocean. If you don't have a reminder in your head, you will only keep seeing the the dark side of it. It's a, it's an awesome experience. But yeah, sometimes you just keep working and then your customers are telling you, hey, this is not working. Could you please like us with the engineering team? Hey, I submitted a case with the support team. I am not getting comfortable responses from them. Could you please reach out to them? Can you escalate this for me? Oh, hey, Grace, do you have this feature available? Is there somebody that you can connect me with to discuss with, um, to learn this feature or to train? And then you're, learn you're trying to push further for your customers. So also let myself know that. I am making progress. I am doing great. I am improving. I am making positive impact. And I am learning at the same time. So these were the things that I have done so far. And where I am currently is still a face. I am growing. And there is a career path. One thing, remember I mentioned that is there a career path. There is actually a career path in customer success. And there is going to be another video where I will highlight each of the career paths and what is expected of you at each stage. But right now, this has been my journey and I'm excited to share it with you. If um, you would like to learn more about customer success, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, share with your colleagues, your friends and your loved ones who you know are interested in this content. Let them subscribe. And if there is any information or any topic you would like us to cover, please drop it in the comment section. I'll go through them and I'll make sure we release a video in that aspect. Thank you so much for staying connected. I really appreciate you. It's my first video. I would also appreciate lots of encouragement from you. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye.